Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually showing y'all my weekly blowout. And yes, I heat style my hair every week and I still got my curls y'all and I just wanna show y'all how. Now I know that air drying is the golden standard when it comes to curly hair because we are trying to avoid heat damage like the plague. But in my experience and the experience of my clients who also have a regular blow dry routine, there are actually many benefits to blow drying your hair. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five surprising ones, so let's dive in. All right, so first things first, I am starting on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. And I'm gonna say heavy emphasis on the deep condition. We all know that heat styling tools are drying in nature, so I'm gonna put in as much moisture as I can and to protect my hair from any damage. So I always advise my clients, if you're gonna put any heat on your hair, make sure it is freshly washed and you have to deep condition. Okay, so after parting my hair in two, I'm going in with my emergency miracle treatment. Now this is my leave-in conditioner from my Timesy Curly Hair Care line. And this is great because it is going to impart moisture. Now like I said, heat styling tools are drying, so I'm gonna put in as much moisture as I can. And I always tell people, let a leave-in conditioner always be the first product that you put in in any hairstyle because we want to make sure that our hair stays moisturized for longer. Alright so after applying my leave-in conditioner I'm going in with Lay Do, which is my blow dry cream. Now if you haven't used a blow dry cream it is a game changer because it is a cream based product which means it is water based so it is going to leave your hair so moisturized after applying heat. Now to seal in all that moisture you put in and to add some extra heat protection, I'm going in with my amethyst oil. Now the amethyst oil is so good because it has heat protection like I said, but because it's an oil based product, it's going to add such shine to the hair and luminosity. And because it's the oil, I know it's going to lock in that moisture so I don't have to worry about my hair drying out like midweek. All right, so after parting my hair into four, I'm grabbing my blow dryer and I'm popping on that comb attachment and I'm heading to work. All right, so let's dive into some of these benefits of blow drying. And the first one being, I think the most important is by blow drying, you get so much time back. I really started blow drying consistently this winter because I just couldn't air dry and then be outside like it was asking for me to get sick. So I really just needed my hair dried. And after blow drying my hair for a few weeks, I was like, it's just nice to wash my hair and have it dry the same day. Like not having to worry about waking up and styling it in the morning. So it really just helped me get my time back. All right, so let's dive into another benefit of blow drying your hair, which is it can actually improve your scalp health. Now this is for my people who have a ton of hair on their head and it takes forever for their hair to air dry. Now the thing about having all this excess moisture on your scalp for an extended period of time is that it can cause a lot of fungus, bacteria to just fester on your scalp. So when you actually blow dry your hair, you get rid of all that excess moisture so it actually helps and benefits your scalp in the long run than if you were to just air dry and have your hair wet for some of you like two days at a time. Okay, so quick note, after blow drying a section of my hair, I like to twist it into a bantu knot, and that is because I like to set the stretch. Now, if you've ever blow dried your hair and just let it sit, you notice that it starts to shrink up immediately. So in order to prevent that, you need to set it. And I do that by putting it into a bantu knot just so it can keep that stretch there. All right, so once I'm done blow drying and my bantu knots have cooled off, I like to unravel them and just fluff my hair out. Honestly, 99% of the time, I just set in that middle part and brush my hair into a low bun and keep it moving. I'm telling you, this is a quick process. 
But what I love about a blowout is that it is a great foundation for any style, which is why this brings us to the next benefit of blow drying is that it gives you so much versatility. A blowout is great if you're looking for a sleek style or if you want to change it up and do a twist out, braid out, perm rod set. It's a great foundation to any style. And that actually brings us to our next benefit of blow drying is that it reduces frizz and that is because our hair is stretched out, smoothed out because blow drying actually seals the cuticles which reduces frizz so that means that our hairstyles are going to last longer and not frizz up and shrink as much as if we were to only air dry all right so today i'm doing my hair puff so i'm parting my hair in two and i'm going to grab my flex paste now i love the flex paste because it is what i consider my braid and gel and it provides such a flexible hold and it strengthens my hair and i need that because i have really fine hair and especially after a blow dry my hair likes to get a little whimsy and fly with the wind so i love the flex paste because it gives it a little bit of hold and strength and it bulks up the hair a little bit so it's great if you have fine hair because it also is so like penetrable it seeps right into the hair and it doesn't cause buildup like most braid and gels out there okay so in order to set my hair for my hair puff I'm going to flat twist my hair into two flat twists with bantu knots at the end and I like to do it this way because I'm going for volume when it comes to my hair puff. And fun fact, when you actually do flat twists or cornrows, those are actually more conducive to volume than if you were to do individual plaits or twists. And that's because the hair is set in which the direction that you lay it in. So when you do individual braids or twists, that's pointing the hair down so it sets down. But when you do flat twists or cornrows, it goes along the shape of the head so that gives you more volume at the root. And I also want to note, I'm also doing two flat twists because if you haven't noticed, I do have a good amount of hair on my head, but I actually have really fine strands. So I'm not really going for definition. I'm going more for volume. So I'm not trying to get well-defined twists. I, like I said, I'm really just trying to get my hair in the direction to set it in the direction that it's going to puff out in at the end. So after I'm done flat twisting and bantu knotting my hair, I pop that bonnet on and I am ready for bed. Alright, so it's the next morning and I'm getting ready for the day. Makeup on, eyebrows on, and I'm going to pop that bonnet right off. In order to unravel these twists, I'm going back in with my amethyst oil and I'm going to coat my fingertips and my hands with them. And I'm going to unravel my twists gently. Now it's important to coat your fingertips with an oil because this will reduce any friction between your hands and your hair. Now we know that our ends are the oldest parts of our hair so you want to be really gentle when you're styling because this can cause split ends, breakage, and just daily wear and tear. Okay, so in order to help me achieve more volume and the shape that I'm looking for, I'm going ahead and grabbing my metal afro pick. Now, emphasis on metal because those are the ones that are actually more conducive to achieving volume than the plastic ones. So if you're looking for volume, go metal. All right, to further help me control this hairstyle and shape it, I'm going in with Edge, which is my pomade. And I love it because it has a lasting hold and it also conditions the hair and protects it. I'm going to use a hard brush to help me really smooth that hair out and give me a sleeker look. Then I'm actually going to go in with a shoelace string and that's going to be my band holding this puff together. And as I finish up this hairstyle by fluffing everything into place, I just want to bring up the last benefit of blow drying, 
which is it just makes styling much easier especially for my people who don't know how to braid or twist like that or set your hair blow drying is just much easier to deal with especially for those who don't know how to manage their hair blow drying is a, just an easier foundation to start with so you can get to learn how to manage your hair and just get used to having your hands in your hair. I know we're all afraid of heat damage and we probably all have our own horror story when it comes to heat, but I'm a strong advocate when you know better, you do better. And back then we didn't have the tools or the knowledge that we do today. So if you have a good handle on your hair and you are looking for more options, I say why not try and blow dry your hair at least to give yourself another foundation to work with. Alright, so here's my finished puff and I love it because it lasts me from wash day to wash day without me needing to retwist my hair every night. And that's because I'm already starting on stretched out hair so my hair is lasting without shrinkage for longer. If you're ready to find out more tips on how to avoid heat damage, I'll catch you on this next video. Bye!